Hello Taurus, welcome to your love story reading. Um, this is your love story for mid-May. Hope you're doing amazing. Hello. I'm Amber. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you for being here. Um, this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. Also, check your Venus sign for more love information for you. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Support, 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 please. <laughs> And, um, yeah, if you need a private reading, link's in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above. So, Taurus, we're going to jump into your love reading. Um, I did your general, and it was really, really good, so I'm feeling like your love energy is going to be good, too. Yes, it is. Okay. So it's important for you to keep an open mind right now. And it's, a, it's important for you, Taurus, to be open to opportunities, right? Uh, I feel like someone around you is trying to be optimistic about you making the right decision. Or they're really happy about going in some sort of direction with you. They definitely have an open mind. They You're different than what they usually would like in a partner. But they're okay with it. And I feel like you need to see this as the opportunity that it is, pretty much. Um, yeah. Okay, Taurus. Let's get into that love energy. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, that's the past. For your energy, we have the Star. Makes sense. Star. Nine of Wands, Queen of cups page of wands yeah ten of pentacles or ten of cups that's what that is yeah will of fortune strength six of swords four of pentacles and the sun bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups and the eight of swords two eights Taurus, I feel like there's worry about where this is going, you know? Um, this is like taking a leap. I feel like this is taking a leap of faith in love. Leaving behind an idea that you had about love and going into it with a clean slate. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is going into something with a clear head. You were trapped in your head about making a decision or doing something. And I feel like you're just like, F it, you know. Um, let's see where this goes. Let's walk into something new. Why not? So in the past, that's the Six of Pentacles, not the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you took some time away to balance your life and to figure out what you wanted and what you wanted to give your time and energy to because I want to say time is money. <laughs> um, that's what I feel like you were doing, figuring out where it is that you wanted to go. You, you went through this kind of like putting things to a rest, maybe spending some time to yourself. You know, you just didn't want the conflict of it all. So I see that you feel like there's an opportunity here, a dream come true. Um, you know, like you've had time to heal and because you've had time to heal, you see things differently. I feel like you're worried though emotionally about opening yourself back up, but you do have your eye on something. There is a focus even though it worries you, okay? But I see you nurturing this. I see you being open to it with the Queen of Cups. 
you could be dealing with a water sign that's showing you love or it's opening up you yourself emotionally you feel comfortable enough to open yourself up emotionally you feel like it's a good move and with the page of wands it's moving towards something that is really motivating you okay um, this new beginning is all that you can see very exciting energy so because you keep an open mind you know you're walking away from the worry and you're just opening the gate for emotions to come in you know you've kept yourself trapped you've kept yourself not wanting to see anything and be blinded pretty much um, but now it's like you're forced to see so <clears throat> So whoever this other person is, they feel very happy with you and they want to take the chance, right? This is this is a waiting on divine timing, feeling like you are who they're supposed to be with or you are the person that they're attracted to and they were just waiting for things to come together, okay? So this person does have a weakness. I feel like they give their heart over really easily um, or they, okay. They have in the past, but now they're being very protective over their heart. And you seem to be a weakness for them that they were not expecting. So they are going on this journey. They're, they are holding back a little bit, but they are trying to keep an open mind. Okay. So in the future, I feel like there is even though someone is trying to hold on I feel like this is something that both of you don't want to let go of and you see success here okay um, the first thing that I'm gonna say as a warning Taurus is to not be so tight onto holding on to things it still has to have a flow to it um, I feel like the light of it all has to do with the freedom of it and the more that you try to control it or like hold on too tightly it suppresses that light which kind of creates a problem okay so let's clarify some things yeah i feel like you um decided to give in to things that make you happy so a lot of you pursued a lot of hobbies um just explore what love meant to you and the kind of relationship you were in in the past you and i feel like you met someone this person that um is opening you up again that makes you want to give right you know that you had a lot to give in a relationship but you took a rest because I feel like your options weren't good. You were trying to keep your options open, um, but something has caught your attention, pretty much. Okay, so let's talk about this current energy. Yeah, move slow in this new love. There's new love here. There's some sort of rekindlement, and it, it's need, it, you need to just go with it. Move slow. Um, yeah. Just because things are moving slow, but they it is moving steady. But if if you feel like things are moving slow or like someone is lying, I don't feel like it's a lie. I feel like someone has been by themselves for a long time, and this could be you, Taurus, and it's hard for this person, person to open up. Um, but that's a part of the journey that I see that you're doing. But this, that's the whole point is it's opening you up, okay? Yeah, you're healing from a situation in the past where someone kept doing the same things over and over again. And that's why you were afraid to open up or end that cycle finally, okay? You were in love and I feel like it was really hard and it was really rough. And you mentally are still healing from that uh, or learning how to control your emotions so you can love again, okay? But the thing is, your heart has definitely been attracted to something something has caught your attention okay and you're ready to take the risk however there is a worry here because of what has happened in the past or what it is that you have been through but i feel like you're ready to take the risk okay and yeah i do oh 
So you're taming your lions because you have, you know, this is like, Taurus, you feel an enthusiasm and a focus towards something and you're not going to let it go. You know, this is like, I'm not a fool. I know what I feel. Um, I'm just going to tame my issues for now and try to be caring and nurturing and see where this goes. Ooh, this is that fear. Um, you've been by yourself for a long time. And I feel like, you know, like I said here in the past, you kept your options open because you knew exactly what you wanted and you wanted something that was going to grow with you or, or be abundant. And you're feeling like that is here, that thing that you're looking for. And I feel like you're excited about it. So let's see what this other person's going through. Okay, this was a person that was working on their on themselves as well. Um, it just so happened that you bring them a sense of peace and happiness. I feel like they weren't expecting it. Um, this is like I've fought it for a while. They may have kind of friend zoned you, um, or like been a friend, or you may have known this person for a while. But I feel like these emotions. You know, they were thinking, oh, maybe we're just getting along. And maybe I don't really feel that way, but they do. You know, they thought maybe you weren't ready to invest in anything solid as well. Yeah, they feel like this is their opportunity, okay? So they're putting, they're putting their feelings of conflict or feeling like they want to go against the grain or whatever they're putting all that to the side um in order to to move forward they feel a passion they're balancing themselves all about success they feel this person feels like this is their opportunity with you in their heart okay they are a little bit hesitant yeah um because this is a person that wants a relationship and something stable okay and they want to make sure that you're all the way in 100%. They understand, too, that this is going to change your trajectory. So I feel like this person has known you long enough to know for however long that you're going through something, that you're redefining your life, that you're following your joys and what makes you happy, right? Um, and they know that this may throw a wrench in that plan. So they're a little bit hesitant because they want to make sure that you're all the way in. Yeah, I feel like this person knows that you went through some sort of breakup and you were healing from it, okay? And that affects them in some sort of way. But they're going to move forward regardless. Yeah, there's worry here. There's worry here, but they see that you want to walk away and you want to start something new. They see that you're opening up that door for them to come in. So it's going to take some time, okay? They're doing some deep thinking. Um, they're self-reflecting. They may not pull back, but they want that optimism to come their way. That's what I feel, okay? So I feel like you may be holding back a little bit, but it's time for you to make some sort of decision. Yeah. Um, so I feel like you're giving a tame amount of emotion toward this person, but you're excited and you see an opportunity here. This tells me that you need to open up more more lovingly, okay? Um, and this person will be happy to help you heal, okay? But you have to get out of your head. You can't make excuses for, you can't make excuses to be halfway in, okay? So I feel like this is an opportunity to be happy. 
this is an opportunity to change your perspective and move forward towards something. And it's something that's going to make you happy. It's something, ooh, it's something that's worth fighting for. It's worth fighting for. It's fair. This is fair. Okay? It is definitely worth fighting for. But it's like allowing love to come in. Opening up to it. Exploring it. You know? You can't think, oh, this person is, doesn't 100% know they want to be with me. That's fine. Okay? That's fine. So let's get into some love cards. Let's do the past first. Yeah. Taurus, you've just been having a good time living your best life. Trying to find out what makes you happy. Trying new things. Like I say, a hobbies. Maybe dating around, right? Seeing if something clicks with you. It's like you didn't have a plan. You didn't know where you were going. But you wanted to see if something clicked, okay? If something, you know, keeping your options open, like I said before. Okay, this is feeling like this person has a fleeting energy towards you and feeling like they don't love you enough or they're not showing you enough or you can't trust them enough, right? And not just realizing that this is an opportunity for love or for something to start, right? Because you have your guard up. You're a little bit scared, okay? This person may have their guard up as well, um, but it's really because they feel that you have your guard up, okay? yeah so it's yes that gate's gonna open up the gate's opening up okay i feel like someone needs to express feelings or how they feel it's probably you um to make this person feel okay and i feel like that's a really good plan yeah it, it puts things in perspective i feel yeah i feel like they know that you're healing from heartbreak or they may be doing that right um, but they're ready to start something new. They're ready to transform. And they want you to be a part of that or vice versa. Because it could be you that's doing that as well. They feel like you focus a lot on yourself and you're not focusing a lot on them. They want you to talk with them more, communicate with them more, open up more to them. Okay? Because right now I feel like they're just trying to figure out inside what it is that you're thinking you know they know that you are open to something new you're walking away from your old life to start something new but you know they want you to open up more so let's see what's going on in the future Yeah, the more that you heal, the more that you let this person in, they heal you. The more that you open up emotionally. Um, I feel like it, it, it transforms your runner ways. Or, you know, like wanting to be a little bit, um, what's the word? Elusive. Um, I feel like you become closer and closer with this person. The more that you open up. Yeah, see that this is a really good opportunity with cheers. Oh, yeah. Things can really, really grow here. I feel like you just need to give it a chance, Taurus. You really, really just need to give it a chance. Safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what's going on around you. Something's opening up. And with the dolphins, you have to be playful and open to what is happening. It is something. Something is happening, okay? And you need to keep an open mind to it, Taurus, okay? I love you. I love you, boo. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>